फाइव सेकेंड्स सर वाइल वेलकमिंग द डिमांड्स फॉर ग्रांट्स ब्राट फॉरवर्ड बाई द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर हु इज इन चार्ज ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन डेवलपमेंट आई वुड लाइक टू मेक ए फ्यू सजेस्टियंस एज वी ऑल नो द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ अवर कंट्री इज गोइंग ऑन इनक्रीजिंग of course the government is doing everything possible to impress upon the people the benefits of having a small family and i do not deny the fact that the efforts of the government in this regard have begun to have an impact on the people in spite of this we have to accept the fact that there is a steady growth of population especially in and around urban areas one of the important reasons for this rise in the urban population is that more and more people move towards towns and cities in search of jobs this sort of migration takes place in a large measure whenever there is widespread drought because during such times those who are mainly agricultural workers do not have any work to do in the rural areas as a result of this slums come into existence in many parts of our cities and towns I entirely agree with the view expressed by the honorable member on the other side of the house that the existence of a slum in the central part of a city does not in any way add to the beauty of the city but at the same time I would like to stress that we cannot do away with the slums altogether if we do so we will have to face very serious social problems because housing is a basic necessity of the society next only to food and clothing in fact governments all over the world are becoming more and more aware of the fact that the provision of housing to all the people is one of their responsibilities it is for this reason that the coming year is going to be observed as the international year of shelter for the homeless i am of the view that we should not for any reason whatsoever lag behind in this vital area of development especially in view of the fact that we are a large democracy aiming at a rapid rate of growth and also a remarkable development before the turn of the century of course i do agree that it is not possible to provide a house to each and every family in our country within a short time but even if we make a small beginning and try to reach the desired objective over a period of time it will be a step in the right direction i therefore request the government to draw up a phased program in this regard the program should be so devised that the main thrust is on providing accommodation to those who live below the poverty line at present it is very important to take care of these people in the first instance and therefore the government itself should come forward to build houses for them i do not think that it will be difficult to find the finance for this purpose because even now the housing and urban development corporation is in a position to implement several ambitious housing programs by getting the surplus funds of various public sector undertakings sir apart from the efforts of the government the private sectors also has taken up house building activity in a very big way especially in the urban areas private agencies take up construction of high rise buildings in the important residential areas in the heart of a city and in most cases the flats are sold out even before the building is ready for occupation in all respects but the prices of these flats are beyond the reach of those who have a limited income and therefore only those who are in the high income group can afford to buy these flats one of the important reasons for this state of affairs is that the cost of urban land has risen by several times in recent years as a matter of fact the cost has gone up to such an extent that in these days it is considered wise to put up a building for commercial purposes and make more money rather than putting up a building for residential purposes so those who are in the middle income group 
can think of building their own houses in the suburban areas. With these words, I resume my seat.